Okay, we're going to take a look at this today. The Skill Saw, or Skill Company, makes this tiny little saw. If you look here, it's a kind of a saw blade there that is made just for cutting cardboard and carpet and plastic and things like that. And, uh, you know, especially these blister pack, plastic packaging. Um, ironically, it seems to come packed in one of those um, plastic packages that you would need one of these to open it with. Um, I'm about to open this up a little bit and see if that's true. My guess is that um, it pulls apart. Let's see. Alright, got this open. Slide out. And uh, charge it. Charging cord. Charging. Okay, and uh, now they were smart. Looks like it pops. So you don't actually need to have one of these to open its own package. And, um, you know, clearly I've got to charge it up now. And then I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate cutting some stuff. Actually, it looks as though it becomes charged. So I'll play around with a few things. Start with its own blister pack, Let's see what it does. First time running. Oh, it does really good, nice and clean. Run through two layers there. What about a more difficult part like up there? Let's see what happens. Actually, kind of fun. So, if you had a that was a hinge, that would have been a part on a blister pack that would have been um, a pain. Eh, I don't know about like, curves and stuff. Let's see what it does. No problem. Now I can see there that. Um, I almost made a mistake and put my finger in it, so uh, clearly something that has a little bit of a respect curve um, that hopefully I don't learn my lesson. That's dynamite on plastic. Let's see about uh, boxes. Let's go with its own box. Just like hot knife through butter. Amazing. I like it. Well, that'll do for now. I'll come back and I'll film some more stuff. I'll come up with some more stuff and I'll add to this. Alright, so now I'm going to start cutting things at the skill cutter. First thing I'm going to try here is regular screen. And uh, it's really, let's see if I can, there we go. I think you can see that. It just cuts through it like it's not even there. Clean cut. Um, next thing I've got this. Uh, this is plastic wire mesh, quarter inch wire mesh. It's plastic. And 
Yeah. It's as fast as you can go, it cuts right through it. Last, I've got a uh, towel here. I'm not sure if it, I didn't see that it listed fabric, but let's find out if it'll cut that. Uh, yep, kind of hard to hold on to. Well, Going, but we'll cut through that. No problem. Nice clean cut too. And so, yeah, I didn't expect it to do that. One thing I've got to say, though, is because you're, you know, when you're cutting, your fingers are generally behind what it is you're cutting, and so it's really hard to um, keep track of where your finger is in relation to that blade, because, you you know, if you see there, your finger can fit right in there. And so, um, must be very, very careful when cutting uh, when you can't see your fingers on the other side because of course the closer you get the better um, leverage you have and so you have a tendency to want to do that so you just always got to stay aware of that but uh, yeah I'll find some more stuff to cut alright I'm going to demonstrate it cut a few more things this will be the last installment um, just showing a few more things that uh, can cut. Now this is press board like a cereal box. No problem. I wish you there. And this is regular paper in case anybody's thinking cut regular paper. Problem. Now this I was curious. Something thick like a spoon. Well, yeah, it kind of broke it as it went through. But it was well, no, it's was kind of eating it up. So that's no big thing. This is an interesting material. This is a dryer sheet. problem. Now this was something, this is, uh, looks like cardboard, but it's absolutely impossible to tear through. So I'm curious to see what the cutter does with it. Yeah, no problem. Excellent. Now here's a priority, priority mail. It's like plastic and bubble wrap. That's pretty neat. Side there. And then here's this actual bubble wrap. I'm curious about this one. Yeah, it kind of pops the bubbles as it goes. Anyway, yeah, it definitely does that. Now last, a piece of steel here. It's very, very thin steel. doesn't say how thin. But the type that uh, dryer vent would be made out of, actually that is what it is. Yeah, 
yeah, I, it does. It um, kind of, it's got that self sharpener there. So my guess is that if you go cutting steel, and I've just gotten little splinters of steel in my, it's definitely showering, throwing little splinters. So it will cut thin steel, but you probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, that'll just about do it for this demonstration. Um, nifty little tool. Definitely 10 out of 10 stars. It's just amazing. Perfect for unwrapping and unpackaging everything you get for Christmas. But um, I say it's great. Thanks for watching.